Hi there, welcome back to the Curious Expedition. We are embodying Richard Francis Burton, the strange harlequin adventurer, the polyglot, the menace, the phenomenon of, uh, <coughs> of exploration and experiment. experiment. And where will we set him next? He has had four experiments. And triumphant. And now, where will we go? The opulent desert contains a buried gold The desperate drylands, a harsh and desolate area. And the dark drylands, another harsh and desolate area. Ah, uh, I think we're going to go to the opulent desert because the experience explorers is not what we are really. <laughs> So this is the second place we will see. Let's go to the opulent desert, where we'll probably need water. <laughs> Let's start the expedition. After being too excited to sleep, I made my way to the docks. A little time before the ship would be ready, so I imagined my visage would look like on the society center. The museum creator rightly asked for a moment of my time. He was a collector of souls and promised the compensation of Acceptance of his request, he wished us luck at the same journey. I was delighted to witness tales of my previous expeditions had attracted quite some attention. I was approached by several capable persons that were to learn the truth of the stories surrounding my endeavors. Who did I want to recruit? I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five people already. That are all pretty good. I mean, he is afraid of butterflies. So, no thanks. I rejoice as the vessel was ready to head for distant shores. Let's purchase some equipment. Animal improvement. We, ha we don't have an animal, so... Won't go for that. <coughs> so, what we need is... <laughs> we need a, just about everything. So, um, let's take all the whiskey we can get. Uh, maybe colorful marbles for trading. I think machets are always a good idea. We would, if we have a buried pyramid, let's go for at least, yeah, let's go for two shovels. Let's go for some torches. They are not that costly. And we have ropes. Yeah, I like ropes. And climbing gear would be good too. Maybe some first aid kits. I'm not sure about these. Hmm. I mean, we're pretty good in fights, so I don't know if we need these really that much. How many slots do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots. Um, <laughs> yeah. And we have four slots over that. Maybe let's just take along more of the other stuff. Let's get rid of the first aid kit to buy it at least. So, uh, let's make it. Let's make the deal. Rejoiced as our ship was prepared to sally forth. <coughs> Set sail. Oh, expedition five. <laughs> and that was where I died last time. <laughs> or was it Expedition 6? No, it was Expedition 5. With Darwin, we died there. Let's see if we do better now. In the thick mist of a rainy morning, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. We had arrived, and it was time to sally forth. Uh, yeah, we want to refill water we want a whole lot of water we can always throw it away right let's begin the expedition so that would be a first yeah good choice first 
Let's see. Hmm. Quite a lot here. Let's let's probably travel here. Maybe we can uh, make a tour around here, then go to the ship and bring some stuff there, and then maybe go to this area. We'll see. Let's find out. Where should we go next? Probably this way. I'm not sure. Yeah, this way would be good. Let's go forward. What have we found here? A stone overhang. We won't find anything useful or something here. Um, it's just, if you want to rest, it's kind of cool. <clears throat> but with 80, I don't know. I, I don't think we need to rest. There's a magnetic mountain here. Which will disturb our compass. So what, have, what have we found here? A stone statue. Let's examine it. I examined the strange overgrown rock figurine. Its cold eyes seemed to focus on us. Its presence made me uncomfortable, and I desired to move on. There were some items by the statue. It must have been put there by people from a nearby village. Presumably in an attempt to appease the gods. I'll examine the loot. Um, I think that's not that useful, so we'll, we'll just leave it there. And what do we have here? Let's see. We could continue this way. Maybe we'll find something in there that would be typical. On the other hand, it could also be a dead end. But what would you bet? I bet there is something there. Let's test it. No, let's cancel. There's nothing here. All right. Then let's travel here. Maybe we'll find a place to rest. Now, what is that? There is a tomb there. Oh, very nice. Also, we've got a star. Very good. And let's examine the tomb. I mean, who knows what we may find there. Without tomb sanity, <laughs> it could get interesting. The small pyramid had al been almost completely enveloped by the sand. It's likely to be a grave built by an ancient civilization. A small opening led into the darkness. Let's enter the tomb. We enter the dark tomb. It seemed to be rather old and had remained untouched for a long time. In the center of the room lay a stone inside the feathers. We opened it. Dust filled the air as we lifted the cover from the sarcophagus. Inside we discovered a perfectly preserved mummy. All of a sudden it started to groan and limp towards us. Fight! Oh no. Can we tag? Can we post? That's good. Let's repost that thing. Freeze up attack. I don't know, maybe curse of poison. Let's roll again. Let's see. Ah, we can repost again. We can go for a shield if we post. Let's end the round against that furious mummy. Ow! Oh, no, we're not we're not bleeding. Thank God. Let's see what else we have. Right of unity, a shield and a heal. Combine that with something. Curse of poison. Still finding out. Right of Unity is good in itself, let's do that. And the repost is of course pretty good. Can we kick? And then we have two reposts. Which is absolutely awesome. Let's roll again. Does that 
that bring us? Nothing. We've got the eye is also pretty good, so. Three size attack. Nice, and that doesn't do anything. Can't roll anymore, so let's head around. Let's attack. Now is the time. Hey, we got more sanity. We did try for the moment of anything we could. Got a mummy! 100 fail. Very nice. Let's remove that thing and take the mummy. Nice going. Now we got a mummy with us. <laughs> Let's see. What next? First, a sip on some whiskey, a mighty bouquet, and let's continue to this place, I think, or this place. This place is probably best. Let's travel. Oh, there's a buried pyramid. Let's explore it. We encroached upon a grand structure. It seemed to be the tip of a golden pyramid, but for, for some reason the structure was beneath the ground. Its golden surface was decorated with all manner of fascinating symbols, some of which formed a type of map. Analyze the map. For a period of analysis, we could successfully comprehend the map. It was obvious that it showed some locations in this region. Maybe visiting them was necessary to unearth the golden pyramid? Continue. Oh, these, oh, these golden seals is where we need to go. Interesting. That is just... God, we need to go over there. How? How? I mean, that can be done... When we maybe... When we are maybe on the way back. So... Yeah. Let's continue our way here. And maybe visit this thing and then go over there because everything is unexplored there. Let's go here. Travel. There's an old camp. Oh, nice. We found an old campsite. Debris of what seemed to be a failed expedition. Oh, the bones were cracked. Let's search the area. Aha. And valuable equipment. Torches. Coca leaves. Prove Captain Nathaniel to the ears. Let's do that. Now, could actually have taken the coca leaves already. Mm. Yeah, let's take the coca leaves. Let's go here. And try. What will we find there? A shrine. Let's examine it. So before a temple comprised of huge stones, all manner of plant life moved towards the sun. Grand stairs led up an enormous doorway. The structure was slightly tilted, and subsiding all over the ground seemed stable enough to attempt entry. Now if we uh, take something from this temple, there will be an earthquake and the, the red marked ground thing here. So much I've learned. So let's enter the shrine. So we're in that mountain altar. Let's let's investigate the altar. Wow! Look at that. Wow! That would be nice. And a moonstone. We need these to activate the the things for the pyramid. Ah, oh God! This is so tempting. What should we left, leave behind here? Maybe the torches? Maybe the shovels? No, we, may, we might need the shovels. I'm, I don't know. Um, I mean, we have one free for the coca leaves. I think we need no ropes. But we might need ropes. I'd, 
I really don't know. Let's. That's so much fame here. I mean, if we take one. If we take one of these, and we need the moonstone, so we need to take the moonstone, and then the temple will go up. There's no doubt. So we need, we can basically also take all. It was a, not a day for hesitation. That was exactly what we came for. We grabbed the treasure and dashed outside as the ground disappeared behind us. Never less expanding chasm was forming, and we would need to move as fast as our legs could take us. A chasm. Oh. Oh, 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 we need to be quick. We need to flee out of this. Into the forest, maybe. We're overburdened, though. So let's eat the coca leaves. Oh, no, Kawapi could not shake the feeling that the walls were closing in on him. I need fresh air. It's claustrophobic now. Oh, God. And Nathaniel Thaddeus is superstitious. With anger of the spirits. Oh, God. We need the water. Torches are most easily used. Otherwise, and what else? Um, hmm. Will we need climbing gear a lot? We will need it here. But that's about all. I mean, it is costly, but... Yeah, we'll need the machets. And maybe let's drink one whiskey and let's let's flee over here 36 37 uh, 32 38 yeah let's travel here let's go Ah, 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 ah. We have died. <laughs> Game over. Your track fell into a dark chasm. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <sighs> well, 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 let's open the report. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So much. Um, let's see the map. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, I mean, we have died. <laughs> There's that. So, Richard Francis Burton disappeared into a dark chasm. Back to the main menu. That's a rope light for you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It's time to maybe not fall into a dark chasm. What's up next time? Next time we will try Marie Curie. Maybe we can beat the game with her. <laughs> yeah, happy gaming. This is Emmanuel Cam signing out. Wishing you good luck with your Christmas expedition. <laughs>